What Narcissists Secretly Do When They're Alone in Their Room Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a fascinating topic, what do narcissists do when they find themselves alone? Emotionally, narcissists are perpetually balancing on a tightrope as they struggle to maintain their fragile self-esteem. To feel more stable, they rely heavily on external validation, and perceived criticism can quickly destabilize them. This is why narcissists often find it extremely challenging to be alone. When they are alone, they are constantly searching for new sources of supply. In today's video, I will discuss the seven activities that narcissists engage in when they are alone. Please stay until the end of the video to discover what they most definitely are not doing. If you find this video valuable, I would greatly appreciate it if you could like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Many people ask how they can support my channel, and your engagement is the best way to do so. Now, let's delve into the topic. First and foremost, it's important to understand that for a narcissist, supply is as essential as oxygen. They need a continuous source of supply to feel secure and maintain their sense of self-worth, which is why they are so determined to control their sources of supply. Imagine a scuba diver preparing for a deep dive they would meticulously check and recheck their oxygen tanks to ensure they have enough supply to safely complete the dive. This analogy illustrates how crucial supply is to a narcissist. Narcissistic supply refers to the admiration and validation that narcissists crave to uphold their inflated self-image and sense of self-worth. Without sufficient supply, they feel insecure, insignificant, weak, vulnerable, and profoundly ashamed. Consequently, they are almost always fantasizing about and striving for success, power, beauty, brilliance, wealth, and ideal love, believing that these achievements will finally make them feel worthy. Here are seven things that narcissists tend to do when they are alone. Number one is self-admiration. Narcissists spend a significant amount of time thinking about themselves, their accomplishments, and their perceived superiority. When they are alone, they may engage in activities that feed their ego. This often involves fantasizing about future successes or replaying past achievements in their minds. These grandiose fantasies might revolve around having something or someone that will make them happy and feel worthy of everyone's admiration and adoration. During these moments of self-admiration, narcissists often reach out to others through text messages or phone calls to brag and seek external validation. They may share their latest accomplishments or highlight their perceived strengths to gain praise and reinforce their self-worth. This is a crucial part of their behavior, as they constantly need to affirm their superiority and ensure that others recognize it as well. Number two is going on social media. When a narcissist is alone, social media often becomes their primary tool for hunting down supply. They spend a considerable amount of time on social media platforms engaging in self-promotion. This behavior is driven by their need to seek validation, compliments, and praise from others. Narcissists frequently post content that highlights their accomplishments, material possessions, or any aspect of their lives that they believe will affirm their self-worth. They aim to ensure that people see them in the light they want to be seen. They typically send messages to both acquaintances and strangers, often being flirtatious or engaging in love bombing. They are likely fishing for compliments and attention. They might also leave comments on others' posts with the goal of drawing attention to themselves, seeking admiration, or even creating chaos and drama. This could involve insulting others, putting them down, or starting arguments with strangers. These actions serve to validate their beliefs, boost their ego, and assert a sense of power and control. At the end of the day, all their social media activities have the same purpose, to gain narcissistic supply. However, social media can be a double-edged sword for narcissists. While it provides a platform for seeking validation, it also fuels their insecurities. They can become very envious when they see others showcasing seemingly perfect lives, which can heighten their feelings of inadequacy and jealousy. Number 3 is Planning and Scheming When alone, narcissists often spend a considerable amount of time meticulously planning and scheming ways to manipulate others. This behavior is driven by their need to maintain control and uphold their image of superiority. They strategize on how to exploit vulnerabilities in their relationships, gain sympathy or empathy, 
or even plan revenge on those they perceive have wronged them in some way. Planning and scheming allow them to orchestrate situations that fulfill their need for attention, admiration, validation, and power, often at the expense of others' well-being. For instance, consider a scenario where a narcissist is invited to a party and wants to make a significant impression. They might spend an extensive amount of time beforehand planning their entrance and interactions to ensure they stand out and receive a lot of attention and admiration. This planning can involve meticulous details, such as choosing the perfect outfit, makeup, and accessories, often changing multiple times before settling on the final look. They will also strategize their conversations to appear more intelligent, witty, and successful. In addition to crafting their image, narcissists might also plan potential ways to create drama, chaos, conflict, and excitement to remain the center of attention. This could involve telling extravagant stories or engaging in other attention-seeking behaviors. They may anticipate potential challenges to their dominance or spotlight and strategize subtle ways to undermine or discredit others through dismissive remarks or passive-aggressive behavior. The overarching goal is to maximize their supply of admiration and validation. If any part of their plan fails, narcissists may experience intense feelings of shame, leading to impulsive, erratic, and often abusive or rageful behaviors. This reaction stems from their inability to cope with the perceived threat to their self-image and superiority. Number four is that narcissists ruminate when they are alone. When narcissists are by themselves, they often engage in rumination. This means they replay conversations or interactions in their minds repetitively, focusing selectively on aspects that reinforce their self-image as superior, successful, or admired. For example, they might dwell on compliments they received, moments where they asserted their dominance or control, or situations where they were the center of attention. By replaying these interactions, they seek to bolster their ego and maintain their inflated sense of self-importance. However, rumination is not always positive for narcissists. Sometimes, they fixate on perceived slights or criticisms during these mental replays. In such cases, they usually reinterpret these situations in a way that minimizes their own flaws or faults. Instead of accepting any personal responsibility, they place the blame on others or dismiss the criticism altogether. This mental process helps them protect their self-esteem and avoid facing their own shortcomings. Number five is they triangulate by text. When a narcissist is alone, they often use their phone to create conflict, chaos, and competition among others. This behavior is known as triangulation, where they manipulate people from a distance, stirring the pot to gain a sense of control over situations and relationships. Narcissists have a deep fear of being perceived as inadequate or flawed, so they use triangulation to boost their self-image and maintain control over their sources of supply. Triangulation involves bringing third parties into a relationship dynamic, typically by comparing or contrasting one person with another. For instance, a narcissist might text one friend about another, highlighting one person's faults or praising another's virtues to create jealousy or insecurity. This tactic is used to isolate and gaslight others by sowing seeds of doubt and division. By creating conflict and competition among people, the narcissist makes them more susceptible to manipulation. This way, the narcissist can maintain their dominance and control over their social circle. Number six is reckless or impulsive behaviors. When left alone with their thoughts, a narcissist often feels a deep sense of shame. To cope with these uncomfortable feelings, they frequently engage in activities that offer instant gratification. These activities might include substance use, excessive shopping, or reckless sexual behaviors. Such actions provide immediate distractions and temporary relief from their emotional discomfort. For example, a narcissist might binge drink to numb their feelings or go on a shopping spree to feel a temporary sense of happiness and control. These behaviors are ways for the narcissist to escape from their inner turmoil, even if only for a short while. Engaging in reckless or impulsive behaviors serves multiple purposes for a narcissist. First, it allows them to avoid facing their shame and negative emotions. Second, it provides a quick and easy way to feel good about themselves, even if the feeling is fleeting. However, these behaviors often have negative consequences, such as financial problems, health issues, or damaged relationships. 
Despite these potential downsides, the need for immediate relief often outweighs the long-term risks in the narcissist's mind. Number seven is hoovering old sources of supply. If a narcissist cannot find a new source of supply or does not want to make the effort to find one, they will reach out to old sources of supply. Most narcissists have a list of former suppliers, such as ex-partners, who have not fully cut them off yet. These individuals might think they are special because the narcissist is still reaching out to them after a long time. However, the reality is that these old suppliers are like a convenience store for the narcissist, a backup plan and a quick way to get a supply fix. For instance, a narcissist might be in a current relationship but feel bored or lonely when they are alone. In such moments, they might reach out to an ex-partner to flirt, complain about their new relationship, or claim they cannot get over them. The goal of these interactions is to quickly obtain supply from the old source. The narcissist is likely reaching out to multiple people at the same time, and whoever responds first gets to fill their emotional tank. Hoovering old sources of supply is a strategic move for the narcissist. It allows them to maintain a network of people who can provide them with the attention and validation they crave. These old sources are often easier to manipulate because they have a history with the narcissist and might still have lingering feelings or unresolved issues. By keeping these individuals in their orbit, the narcissist ensures that they always have someone to turn to when their primary sources of supply are unavailable or insufficient. So, those are some of the things a narcissist will do when they are alone, but here is one thing that they are definitely not doing, they are not facing reality or facing their feelings of shame. Most of their waking hours are spent trying to distract themselves from their sad, lonely, empty, and shameful inner reality by using others to maintain their delusional fantasies. Narcissists are typically the last ones to ever acknowledge their flaws, mistakes, or shortcomings. When faced with criticism or evidence of their harmful behaviors, they simply raise their defenses even higher. They deflect, they blame, and they distort reality to protect their ego. This denial and avoidance are central to their coping mechanisms. By refusing to face their true selves, they can continue to live in a world where they are always right and always superior. Instead of introspection and self-improvement, narcissists go out and find people to reinforce their false self-image and twisted narratives. They are experts at finding individuals to breathe life into them, people who will support and enable them in justifying and rationalizing their bad behaviors. These enablers play a crucial role in the narcissist's life, as they provide the constant supply of validation and admiration the narcissist craves. Unable to ever truly confront themselves and deal with the shame that's at the root of their recurring problems, narcissists perpetuate a cycle of denial and external validation. This cycle not only harms the narcissist, but also those who are drawn into their web of manipulation and deceit. The narcissist's refusal to face reality ensures that they remain trapped in their delusions, constantly seeking new sources of supply to prop up their fragile self-esteem. In conclusion, while narcissists engage in various behaviors when alone, such as rumination, triangulation, reckless actions, and hoovering, they are ultimately avoiding the harsh truths about themselves. Their primary goal is to distract themselves from their inner shame and maintain their delusional sense of superiority. Understanding these behaviors can help us recognize the patterns and protect ourselves from their manipulative tactics. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this information helpful. If you did, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Your support helps us continue to provide valuable content.